just outside of Eli, Nevada. We got some coffee making. <laughs> coffee going, whatever you call it. So we are in Humboldt National Forest, just outside of Eli, Nevada. Um, we just pulled into this little, this little spot here last night. Just down a dirt road right off the Highway 6. Backed in and got some shut eye. You can kind of see the highway way over there. But it was great. The stars were out. It's quiet enough. Just got the got the sagebrush around here. Definitely got more trees over there. Um, and from here, we're headed to Mammoth, California. Mammoth Lakes. So we tried to film yesterday and I don't know, the GoPro is dead. Again. I feel like we say that very often. The GoPro is dead. GoPro is dead. So GoPro is dead. Does anybody want to contact GoPro for us? Maybe give us some free batteries? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> totally joking. We should probably pick up some extra batteries though. Um, yeah, so just to recap, we're up here in Mammoth Lakes. We arrived on Sunday. And we're gonna spend the rest of the week here um, before we go back home for a little while to visit friends and family. Um, we have a wedding. Yeah, we actually have a busy next like three weeks. Pretty busy. Two, three weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, I got a lot of things going on. Um, should be a good time hanging out with some <clears> friends <throat> this weekend at the wedding and the barbecue. So I was saying that we make very strange uh, names for places because there's all these different roads in this dispersed camping area in the National Forest. And there's a Jayco motorhome over there. And I was like, do you want to go down the Jayco Road? And we're just like, how did we, how did we come about this? It's Jayco Road. Jayco Road. So and we, there's one back there we call Meadow Road. Meadow Road, Jayco Road. There was a momentum um, cul-de-sac. Because there's a momentum in there and there's a dead end. Momentum court. Momentum court, yeah. So, I don't know if you guys, do you guys do anything like that? Like, <laughs> put a comment and let us know if we're the only ones. We do it in RV parks, too. We, we tend to do it for some reason, so. Making up goofy names for things. Let us know, let us know. Many hours later. So, another day has come to its end. And now we're going to take the dogs for a walk and... I'm gonna attempt to fly the drone. Let's see if I can crash it. Say probably. She's saying probably. I mean, I've been pretty good, but let's be honest, now that I'm talking about it, I'm probably gonna crash it. I just dropped my drink, so that's good. <laughs> A little dirty. Hey babe. Yo. How about that turtle shell you got on? The thing is huge. The drone safe. Safety, safety first. first. Vince, it was nice having the drone while we had it. We appreciate it. I'm a little scared. It's actually really easy. It's easier than I thought. This is my second time flying a drone, and the first one I crashed immediately, so. It goes up to about three feet, and then you just basically take off from there, and uh, as long as you don't do crazy maneuvers like Melissa's doing right now, you're pretty good. <laughs> So it was a successful drone flight. The sun has set, as you can tell. Um, Melissa flew. She did well. She did not crash. I flew twice. 
Uh, I actually landed it myself once because normally I just use auto land. So, no big deal. We didn't break it yet, yay! Yay, we haven't broke it yet. We did put a hole in the roof of the trailer. Of the trailer. So, but that's minor details. I mean, a little hole, a little cocky. No big deal. No big deal. So, fun times in RV life. We ran out of water, so we are taking these big old jugs into town and we're gonna fill them up because we really don't feel like moving the entire rig. I mean, realistically, <laughs> it's one more night and then we're leaving tomorrow anyway, so it's yeah. like, you so, know, fill a few jugs. We're taking baby we wipe showers Either tonight. baby wipe shower or a jug shower, just one person pours it over the yeah, other. Just like, know. poke a few holes in here and then um, just like spray it on yourself. But we could really pour them into the tank, realistically. Oh yeah, we could. But then I feel like we'd be more wasteful totally. with it, so. I mean, or just don't shower, you know? That's cool too. For one day. But anyways, we, yeah, rookie mistake, I guess. It's the second time in six months. The first time was my fault. Second time, not my fault. First time was an accident because we didn't fill the tank completely for some reason. Yeah, there's like a little vent and it spit out a little water and I thought it was full. And I was like, oh, it's good. And then it just was not good. It was not full. And this time, we were Somebody not was shaving her legs. Shaving her arms. I was like, oh, it's fine. Like, we're only going to be here, like, you know, less than a week. Like, normally we can go a week easy without running out of water. So I, I was not being conservative as much as I normally am. And, yeah, we ran out of water. So that's cool. We're on a mission for a water source. Oh, my gosh. What? You don't like it? No? We found a water source. No, we're on a mission for a water source. <laughs> Why do you keep saying it like that? Because it's... I don't know, what? it's funny. What I'm is that from? I probably have almonds in my teeth. I don't know, I just made it up. Say it again. We're on, I can't even say it. We're on, we're on a mission for a water source? No? Stupid. <laughs> this is what's good about RV life. Because if we were at home and just, just turn on the water and the water comes out, the shit is boring. Boring! <laughs> oh, we got power? Turn on the lights, lights come on. Boring! So today we're struggling with power and water. Too many comforts in life are just boring. We're in a very heavily treed area, so we're not getting much sunlight on the solar panels. Solar is struggling hard. Yeah, but that's right. okay. We have a backup generator. So in case you hadn't noticed, Jesse's talking about upgrading to a toy hauler. Oh, me, it's happening. Have you told the camera yet? Uh, I don't know. So we're debating upgrading to a toy hauler because we love moon docking. Uh, only downside is that we put solar on our trailer already, so we we'll just do that again. Whatever. It's only money. It's only money. just spilled sparkling water all over my shirt. It's only money. Yeah, okay, you're done.